Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do a page in Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. And in this book we are using a pink set, a purple set, a blue set, and a green set. <laughs> the whole book is done in the same colors. We're going to work on this page here. Get a nice easy page to do. Page on the other side will get done later. So we're going to work on just the um, drawing here, see how far we get. It's a um, hourglass and we're going to probably um, fade this down blue, purple, pink. So we'll start at the top here in the sand with the blue colors. And then I just have to figure out if I'm going to do it dark to light, light to dark dark to light at the bottom. I don't know. Maybe I should work at the bottom and go upward. Hmm. Yeah, probably a better idea. I'm going to get the camera down and we'll get to work down here, which you can barely see. <laughs> so, Hold okay, on. we're going to work with the um, pink set first. So, it's black raspberry, nectar, henna, and uh, light peach. So, they're four colors with this just to get a better blend. So we'll start with the um, sharpening of the pencil, which I should have done before I started, but sorry. Black raspberry. And we're going to kind of go down here at the base and put that color in. The um, little florals here can be done in the green. So we're just going to get our darkest color down in here first because there would be more sand down at the bottom so it would be a deeper color. Get all the little bits and pieces in here. And then if you want to exaggerate the sand that's coming down, we can make that darker. Okay, I don't know how far up I want to go because I have to switch colors. But at least it'll be going upward. But the base we really want dark, so we're going to just darken those up a little bit. Maybe even put a little black in those. Okay. We're going to lightly put this color in, going upward. Not much pressure on this at all. Just getting the color down on the paper. Okay. Next color we're going to bring in is the henna. Just kind of go over what we went over before and just kind of bring it out a little bit. Make sure it gets in everywhere. I didn't get it very dark over here, so I'll make that a little deeper. Coming down this way. OK, 
Okay, bring back the henna. something in this line. Okay, then we'll go in with the nectar. Then bring in the, uh, what is this one? The light peach. Go over everything again, <laughs> bring it down a little further. over it again with the black raspberry and darken up all these areas that I think need to be darkened a little bit better. Just trying to make it even on both sides. Even-ish, I guess. So it has to be perfect. Sand, it will go in its own way. Making some spots bigger and some spots thinner. And of course, since it's colored sand, we'll have it in different shades going down here. depending on how it's falling. Just make it look the way you want it to. <laughs> you don't have to worry about too much. Just have fun with it. Make another line there. some falling down here and one on this side Okay, we're gonna leave that be for a minute and let's see if we can get pink to purple going here. So I'm gonna sharpen my black grape 
and we're going to attach it to this line here and put it in here. Kind of go up this way with a little bit of the purple. Then we'll darken under here like we did with the black raspberry. Bring in the second color here. And this is the Parma Violet. If anything gets in the stars or the dots, I'm not too worried about it. I can put stickles on them. Stickles is a glitter glue. It adds a pretty color to everything. That way I don't have to worry about not coloring them. It makes coloring a little easier and easier, makes it a little more fun. Okay, I'm gonna bring that up to the top. So we're just gonna bring it up here is going to go up there. Then we're going to put in our last purple bit, which is grayed lavender. Did I get it back down here so you could see? <laughs> Okay, we're going to bring white in here and just kind of give it a little bit of a um, blend here with the, the white. Hopefully that'll help that blend in just a bit better with the pink. There we go. Blend that pink too. Yeah, that looks pretty good. On the other page, there are 
stickle dots. If you're wondering why it's making a clunky clunky noise and little dots are showing up. <laughs> it doesn't bother me any because I'm just going to go over all these dots here with the stickles too and it'll blend it all in together. Okay, just get this blended down. up here and I can't see that so now we're gonna go up here and get the blues uh, blues indigo slate blue and a light or sky blue light so we'll go in with the indigo just kind of go up this way up on the other side Bring it across, make this dark here. This is going down into this color. Just gonna bring that down onto the purple. Put the other two pencils down so I don't have to worry about those. Uh, this one will probably just go into that one. This one can go down into that one too. Just darken everything up at the top. Bring some of that color down lightly. Make sure it's darker on the sides. Coming down. Okay, slate blue is the next color. Bring it over. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my cat's meowing. Meow meow. You talk to me. He's probably be telling me I was out of the screenshot. That'd be nice if he was actually telling me that. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to bring in the um, sky blue light. Run it right into the purple.
Okay, then we're going to bring in the white. And with pretty heavy pressure, we're going to pull it right down in here and highlight that squishing its way down the neck of the glass. Probably be a little more of it coming down here, so I'm gonna just bring it down a little bit with the eraser and then go back over it with the white, and that gives us a little bit more of that coming down that way. We'll also go back up here with the indigo and darken those lines up a little bit where we want that to come down. Attach those two there. Maybe bring some up here. There. A little lower there too. So it all looks like it's coming down. Put a dark blue one there. We have a purple one coming up. That's a raspberry. I need the grape. And blend those in together. lavender in here. Parma violet. grab the purple. Can <laughs> I make sure it's purple? Darken in some darken it in
and then kind of smear it together and make sure we get a good blend between all those colors. So this is the indigo blue. Yeah, I think that's looking good. Just going to blend it in a little better down here. I'm just using the nectar here to blend the last color I put in. The peach. Sorry, it's light peach. of the white. All right. Well, that took forever just to do the sand, didn't it? I don't think it's terribly well blended here. Just brought in the great lavender to do that. Down here. Add a little up there. of that light blue down into this area too. That's what we have so far. I might um, 
darken a few areas up here and I'll bring a little black in too just to darken like the connection spots to the sand coming down with each other maybe and then maybe just in some of these darker spots down here we definitely want a little black such a base point then you go back over it with the um, <laughs> black raspberry over that with the indigo. That looks pretty good. Still may play with it a little bit, but <laughs> just because it's fun to do. Yeah, that'll be it for today. Um, next time, all these little flourishes, we're going to do those in green. We'll figure out the gems. The top will be done in green, and then we'll do a little bit of glass effect on the um, glass. <laughs> After I think I put a background on it, I'm not quite sure, because I want the um, glass to be transparent, and if I put a background on, I'll have to do it before I do much on the glass itself. So, That'll be in part two. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next part. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and I will get to them as soon as I, soon as I can. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and uh, have a great day, guys. Bye.